Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will discuss multiplication and division of decimals. We will cover the following specific objectives. We will multiply decimals, divide decimals, and divide a decimal by a decimal. In order to multiply decimals, we will now examine positioning the decimal point. When you are multiplying decimals, step one, we're counting the total number of digits to the right of the decimal point in each of the numbers being multiplied. Step two, in the answer, count from right to left the number of places found in step one. It may be necessary to attach zeros to the left of the answer in order to correctly place the decimal point. Now let's look at an exercise involving multiplications of decimals and positioning the decimal point. Let's multiply 76.9 times 0 .903. 3 times 9 is 27. Carry the 2. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. 7 times 3 is 21 plus 2 is 23. We of course will bring down this 0. 9 times 9 is 81, 9 times 6 is 54, plus the 8 will be 62, and 9 times 7 is 63, plus the 6 will be 69. We will add 7, 0, 4, 4, 6, 9. And now in positioning the decimal point, we will count the number of decimals in our original number, and you will see we have one, two, three, four decimal places in our original numbers. So counting from the right, we will count four spaces, one, two, three, four, and our decimal will go right there. Now let's look at an application problem involving multiplication of decimals. Brenda Mead bought 6.5 yards of baseboard trim to complete her kitchen remodeling. If she paid $2.68 per yard for the trim, what was her total cost? She bought 6.5 yards times $2.68 per yard, so we will multiply 6 and 5 tenths times $2.68 to obtain 17.420, which we will round to the nearest cent, which will be $17.42. Her total cost is $17.42. Now we will look at an exercise involving division of decimals. In order to divide, we will place the decimal in the quotient above the decimal in the dividend, and we will divide. 5 divides into 6 once. Multiplying, 1 times 5 is 5, and we subtract, leaving us with 12. 5 divides into 12 2 times, we multiply, 2 times 5 is 10, we subtract. We ignore the decimal, bring down the next number, which is a 3. 5 divides into 23 4 times, 4 times 5 is 20, we subtract, leaving us with a 3. We bring down the next number, 5 divides into 38 7 times, 7 times 5 is 35, we subtract, leaving us with 3, and we continue to add zeros at the end of the number until we reach the desired accuracy place. 5 divides into 30 6 times, 6 times 5 is 30, and our remainder is 0, and our division is complete. Now let's look at an application problem involving division of decimals. Each dosage of a medication contains 1.62 units of a certain ingredient. Find the number of dosages that can be made from 57.13 units of the ingredient, round to the nearest whole number. I have gone ahead and set up this division for you 
we will need to divide 57 and 13 hundredths by 1 and 62 hundredths in order to determine the number of dosages in the medication. So we will divide 57.13 by 1.62. In order to divide a decimal by a decimal, we need to move the decimal in the divisor behind the last digit. So we will need to move this decimal so that it is behind the two. We will then need to move the decimal and the dividend the same number of spaces. So we move this decimal two places to the right. We will need to move this decimal also two places to the right. And then once we have the decimal positioned, we will move it up and we will divide as usual. So 162 divides into 571 three times. Multiplying gives us 486. So we subtract, that gives us 85. We bring down the three. So 853 divided by 162 is five. So we multiply, giving us 810. 853 subtract 810 is 43. And now we add the number of zeros that are necessary until we either have no remainder or we reach the desired degree of accuracy. So we add a zero and we divide. We see that 162 divides into 430. Two times multiplying, that gives us 324. We subtract, that gives us 106, adding another zero. So 162 divided into 1060 divides six times. We multiply, that gives us 972. We subtract, that gives us 88. We were asked to round this to the nearest whole number, so we see that we have gone beyond the whole numbers. So we have 35 and 26 hundredths, but to the nearest whole number, this will be, we look at the one digit to the right, and this digit will not go up, so to the nearest whole number, this will be 35 dosages can be made with the medication. In this section, we have discussed multiplication and division of decimals. So now go and try some exercises on your own.